game against Holland in Dublin had, had established the mood. We had gone on, built on that performance, and now people genuinely felt that here at last we were in with a real chance of making the finals of, the, of a major championship. Part of the biggest crowd ever to watch Ireland play international soccer in Ireland. The vital World Cup game. The whole thing was that we had to beat them in Lansdowne and uh, there was 54,000 at Lansdowne that day and it was a fabulous game. Robinson and Stapledon. Robinson's clenched fist says it all to his colleagues behind him. Lansdowne Road is alive with excitement. Away they go. They were a great French team. Strong defenders, good goalkeeper, and of course marshalled by Platini, who was the, you know, he was world class then, but he used to go on and be iconic. He was absolutely genius. Here's Platini and Coriolis move, nobody marking him. Ronnie Whelan, Rob Jean Vian, made the pass to Robinson. Robinson made the next assist. Stapleton coming in to knock it in net, but Mahout got there before him. OG. Good challenge by Whelan. And this is Robinson on the break. Stapleton's pulling away. Oh, good play, Robinson. Stapleton's far post. A great goal. That was a super goal. Marvellous goal. The dream start against such a great opposition that you, you would always like to get off to to a good start, um, obviously particularly being at home and um, uh, for us to go ahead so early in the game was, uh, was a wonderful start for us. As always seemed to happen to us when we were ready to celebrate and uh, charm ourselves with a goal lead, France equalised. This is Ballon, oh, it's a super goal, one of the best goals we've seen in a long time at Lansdowne Road. Ireland never got a piece of the ball. So now we're truly up against it, but up against the wall. Ireland produced perhaps their best stuff. No, it's Martin for Ireland. Back in again. Stapleton gets ahead. O'Leary! Stapleton! David O'Leary did very well. He got down the right-hand side and just cut back a, a real... Sh cut it back nearly to the penalty spot. And uh, Stapleton side-footed it in. It was uh, great for us, obviously, to, to, to take the lead again. And that was a long ball. I can't remember who, who played the ball in, but uh, Dave O'Leary was in on the end of it for Frank Stapleton to, to finish for us. History rightly regards Frank Stapleton as a major influence in Irish football and his performance against France, France that day proved it. Stapleton uh, was a great professional more than anything else. With Robinson qualified, Ireland had a dual threat, Stapleton-Robinson up front and it paid off in this match. Both Stapleton and Robinson scored. And Robinson again, can he wrap it up? Yes, he can! And France have made a present of it! Michael Robinson, new boy on the Irish team, got a passport because some of his relations once went through Dublin Airport. Frank scored, Robinson scored, and Ireland 3 won. But look at how careless France were then. The ball was terrible, Robinson was alive, the keeper got a hand to it, but not enough. It's but enter Michel Platini again. Fine goal for France to make it 3 2. Six. That's a beautiful ball by Sextus Jean-Vion. Chance for France. Stopped by Houghton. And it's in for Platini. When you mention Platini, you could, could never forget Platini. Of all the midfielders Irish teams have opposed, I think Platini was street sad. Wonderful player. He was a scourge of Ireland. France came then looking for the big equaliser. But McDonough. This is when he really proved himself, and now he's one of the lads. Now he's what the Irish have taken him to the heart, taken him to the heart, and he did the job. And Ireland held on three to two. As Seamus McDonough had to make a great save right late at the game that would have given the French a three-three draw. He made a fantastic save down to his right, diving down to his right at the foot of the post. I think it was Platini again. Seamus McDonough came to came to Ireland as Jim McDonough, goalkeeper called Jim McDonough. And I think I was the one who said to him, you know something, you should, you know, you're James. Make the James Seamus and really become an Irish goalkeeper. Good idea, to see.